afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2016 Land Rover LR4. This LR4 is currently showing just over 53,000 original miles, and if you would like to see a high resolution detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There of course you will also find a free included Carfax report alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire and brake life as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll be taking you on a quick condition overview around both the interior and the exterior of this LR4 and we'll go over some of its most unique and interesting features. Now, of course, we'll start here on the exterior where the first thing I notice is this awesome contrast with that bright white paint scheme and all of those gorgeous piano black accents littered all around the exterior. But before we go over those, let's do the usual tour where we take a really close look at the panel, looking for any dings, dents, scratches, irregularities in the way that light reflects off the panel. It's really nice to get right up close to the vehicle where all of those issues would be very prominent but as we can see here make it our way to the back it all presents beautifully here on the driver's side the first of the many piano black accents here are these gorgeous split five spoke wheels wearing those nice uh, black land rover badges in the center and wrapped around them you'll find some tires in awesome condition these wheels are in great shape as well no curb rash to note here on the driver's rear wheel and making our way to the front wheel, we'll pass by both of these door handles, also finished in a nice gloss black, as well as that lower black trim and the running boards, which have that gorgeous silver trim on the outer portion. And you can see they're in impeccable condition, really, really clean. It's nice to see those not marked up. We have our mirror caps here in gloss black, as well as that supercharged V6 badge just there, finishing out that body line from the hood really nice way they've styled that in and you can also see that Land Rover functional air intake there on the side of the fender also finished in that same color now here at the front another wheel in stunning condition with some nice silver calipers hidden just behind those spokes it all looks very nice and again tires look great here at the front and before we really tour around the front fascia I would like to note that you can see just how nice the finish is on this paint it looks amazing and not only the hood but also the fenders and just about everything here at the front is wrapped in a vinyl protection film otherwise known as ppf uh, which is going to do an amazing job of protecting the underlying paint finish so if you were to sling a rock into the front of this vehicle say kicked up from a tire uh, of a vehicle in front of you uh, that PPF is going to do an amazing job at taking that impact and saving the underlying paint. Uh, and it is removable without doing any harm to the paint finish. Uh, so it's really nice to see that. And the installer did an amazing job. You can see just a seam line just there at the end of the fender. And it's unique that we see it carrying all the way back here to the end of the fender. But as we can see, that seam line persists here to the rear. Uh, so this is all protected. You can see those outer arches are protected. The hood is protected. The headlights are protected. All of this piano black trim here at the front is just as uh, just the same. And the front bumper cover is also protected in that PPF film. So that's an amazing thing to find on a vehicle like this. And all of the PPF is an amazing shape. We see a little small imperfection there, but it's always worth noting that with PPF, it's okay to see a little imperfection in there because <laughs> likely seeing an imperfection there means it saved the actual underlying paint from taking uh, that damage. So that's a huge value on this car and whoever installed it uh, just did an incredible job. But anyway, moving on to general condition, as we mentioned, it all looks great. You can see those headlight lenses are crystal clear, showing no signs of oxidation or discoloration or any scratching. But if there was any scratching again, just peel that PPF off, put a new layer on, and you have brand new headlights if that were to happen in the future. Now we do have that gorgeous gloss black Land Rover script matching the rest of the contrast on the vehicle, and that carries into that grille where you see the Land Rover badge as well as some silver trim on the outer portion, and that all presents beautifully as well. Same goes over here. Both of those fog lights are in great shape as well, and all of the black trim on the lower portion looks nice as well. So looking here at the front wheel, this is the only wheel in the whole vehicle with a little bit of an imperfection. You could see that small scuff there on those spokes up at 12 o'clock and the ones closer to 10 o'clock. Uh, but largely, again, nice condition. You can see the tires look great as well. 
and looking really close yet again. It's going to be a little harder to see because of that bright sunlight uh, aiming directly on the panel right now, but I can assure you, here to the human eye, uh, looking really close to the panel, it all presents just amazing. Now I'm noticing here we also have paint protection film on the leading edge here, so the portion on the door uh, of the wide fender portion. So it's nice to see that also protected because if anything is going to take any rock chips from that front wheel, it would only be this portion, <clears throat> whereas the rear portion is protected just by nature of where it is. Now lastly, rear wheel looks great, running boards look amazing as well, same as the driver's side. And making our way finally to the rear of the vehicle. You'll find the taillights in crystal clear condition on both sides. They look great. I love the clear lenses with the bright red LED technology. So really cleans up the rear of the vehicle not having a bunch of big red chunks here at the back. <clears throat> I think that silver chrome look from the lenses and the black surrounds, it all does a great job at adding to that gorgeous light and dark contrast we see here on the vehicle. And also, if you look above, we also have that full glass roof, which we'll see from the interior. And again, here at the rear, it all looks nice. It does have a split tailgate that we'll touch on in a few minutes here, and that black LR4 badge just there. But next up, I'm gonna make my way to the interior, back out the camera just a bit. And as we open it up, you'll find it to be in just incredible condition here on the inside as well. Taking a look at the driver's seat, I'll move the seat belt so you can see that the entire outer bolster is in perfect shape. That double stitching holding up nicely. Same goes for the lower portion of the seat. Materials are in great shape. You have that height adjustable armrest for either front occupant and those are both great as well. And I'll fold this out of the way so we can get a nice clear view of that passenger seat which is also in nice condition. And looking just above my head, we have that gorgeous sunroof, another panel for your second row of occupants, and a third for your third row of occupants. Make your way inside. You hear all that lingering road noise and outside noise as I close this door. It's a nice heavy door. Falls very quiet here inside the LR4. That is the kind of quality touches you'd expect from a manufacturer like this. Now, before we go over the general condition here, of course, you can still hear that car. Um, going over the general condition, I'm going to start by firing up the engine using that start button just there. You can hear that V6 roaring to life, no hesitation whatsoever. No strange lights or warnings in the gauge cluster. Everything looks exactly as you would hope. It's starting to look of the general condition on the vehicle. We'll take a look at the dash here. You can see this nice stitched leather all presents beautifully all the way across the dashboard. Here on the door, all of the controls look great as well. You have the nice contrast of black and silver uh, matching that light and dark theme on the exterior. We also have these Meridian speakers here and those chrome grills are in great condition or more of a silver grill. Of course, we love having a nice high quality sound system in any luxury vehicle, which this one is in my opinion. Take a look here at the steering wheel. You do have all these controls surrounded by piano black trim in really nice condition. If we look on this side, a bit of a hidden control is that heated steering wheel, which functions perfectly. And here on the left side, it all looks great as well. You do have your gear selector paddles just there for the eight speed transmission. And of course that big airbag cover in the center with the horn buttons on either side finished in that kind of brushed silver uh, presents really nicely. Everything feels great in the hand. You can see the steering wheel actual grip uh, is in nice shape. The leather all looks great. Looking here throughout the center console, you have these nice circular air conditioning vents, kind of an old school look. As we started the vehicle, this gear selector rose up out of its housing, and I can use that to select reverse and show you that nice high definition backup camera. It all looks great. I put it back in park, and while we wait for the menu to boot back up, we'll look here at the radio controls. You can see all of your stereo and infotainment controls look great. You have that nice analog clock in the center that works as well. Looking a bit lower, of course, your heated seats, traction control, and your climate. Uh, that all looks nice as well. The heated seats are fantastic in this car. I was using them uh, just before the video here. A little bit lower, you have a small bit of expendable storage. I just push that in, and it draws itself out, and it latches back in with no issues whatsoever. A little bit lower, you have some drivetrain controls. Now, that top selector is actually going to change your drive mode. That's going to go between your regular road-going mode and then various all-terrain modes, whether that's sand or snow and ice, etc. 
Uh, so it's nice to see that the vehicle is going to change various different things um, about its characteristics to suit whatever situation you're in. Now, just below that, of course, flanked by that uh, those two power outlets, you do have a suspension height adjustment, which can adjust the vehicle's height a great deal. If you have it in the lowest mode and then set it to the highest mode meant for off-roading, it's a really, really substantial difference. It goes from almost no gap in, uh, in between the top of the tire and the fender to a quite huge gap between them. And I'll show you that uh, before this video is over. I'll show you it at the lowest setting and at the highest. And then all the photos you see online are at its normal setting. That's where it is now. And then a couple more off-road settings there, like your uh, descent assist and your auto start-stop. And lastly, just here, we do have that gear selector I mentioned, as well as the parking brake and a bit of storage, and the cup holders, as well as your center console storage just behind my arm here. But next up, we've gone through the interior a bit. Let's take a look under the hood at what we saw on that fender badge, the supercharged V6 powertrain. I'll see you there. All right, so now we've made our way under the hood here of the LR4. Taking a look at the general condition, first off, you'll find all of the plastic panels in really nice shape. Everything looks great. Reservoirs are crystal clear, really nice and clean everywhere here under the hood. All of these white painted portions of the bodywork, they also present perfectly, as we can see looking through those little gaps there. And everything here at the forward portion looks just uh, almost fresh out of the factory. You can, of course, see the color code Fuji White right there on the leading edge. But taking a look at this powertrain, now this is a 3.0 V6 with of course a supercharger as we saw on that badging there on the side. And as we can see, uh, idling very happily at the moment, produces 340 horsepower and just slightly less than that in torque, I believe 335 or around that figure. And because it's paired with that eight speed automatic gearbox, quite a good one at that, uh, you have plenty of power and torque no matter where you need it, uh, you'll always have it available because there's always a gear that's just right in the moment. Uh, these vehicles are capable off-road and because it is a three liter V6 with that forced induction from the supercharger, you're still gonna see right around 20 MPG uh, despite this being a relatively heavy vehicle. So we do like to see that as opposed to a big V8 that is just gonna tear through gas uh, on a regular basis. Now, looking here at the second row of seating, again, very well appointed here in the second row. The seats are in great condition on the seat backs and bottoms. We do have that other sunroof. All of these sunroofs, it's worth noting, have that shade that can pull out uh, and block out any unwanted sunlight. Looking here, the door cards are equally nice to the front. You have that piano black and silver contrast. And I have installed all of the rubber mats here for the second row, uh, just to save a bit of room in the back where I have the rest of the mats. Now I have that driver's seat positioned exactly where I would comfortably drive it, uh, being about six foot four. Uh, and I'm gonna sit behind where I would drive the vehicle. And as you can see, I have, and I am sitting comfortably, uh, I do have just enough room sitting behind uh, a very relaxed front driving position. I do have enough room to sit here comfortably for a long drive. My headroom is, there's an abundance of headroom. I'd say probably about six or seven inches above my head. You do have dual climate control vents here and a couple more just above our head with some controls for the third zone back here. We also have dual zone, or I'm sorry, uh, dual level heated seats here uh, for either side occupant. So I do have two levels of heat and the front has three, uh, but it's very nice to be sitting here in the back. I can fold down independently the center seat and use that as sort of an armrest if I wanted to. And lastly, we'll get a really good look here of the front area. It looks very nice. So now, before we, oh, <laughs> I do it all the time in these cars. I left the child lock on. So <laughs> I'm going to uh, close out of this. Uh, get myself out of here and I will meet you at the back to check out the third row and the um, cargo space in the rear meet you there All right, so I just navigated my way out of the vehicle But of course I wanted to show you that indeed the door handle does function exactly as you would want um, Unfortunately, I think while I was cleaning this vehicle at some point I flipped that child lock um, as I was cleaning out that jam and uh, made for a bit of a funny blooper there, but that's okay. We carry on. The show must go on. So here at the rear of the LR4, we do have a split tailgate design that I mentioned earlier. And as you can see, easily lift up that upper hatch. 
uh, to allow easy access in the back. But if I want a little bit more access, I use this button here and this panel drops down. I have to uh, lower it by hand, but it does have these dampers on cables, so uh, it can be just dropped and it will gently allow itself to fall into position. Now, take a look here at your general storage area in the back. Of course, I can drop down that second row of seating very easily, and that provides just a ton more storage uh, potential here in the back. And I do have that rubber floor mat, as well as your uh, rubber mats for the front occupants, as well as carpets uh, for all four seating areas there in the front and second rows. But it's very nice back here. You do have plenty of storage up here on the sides, as well as cup holders for either occupant, as well as climate vents and defrosters on the rear windows. And lastly, again, a very nice big glass panel, as we've seen on the other two rows. But next up, I'm gonna pause for just a moment. I'm gonna take out this big rubber mat. I'm gonna deploy the third row of seats, which is quite easy and quick. And I'll be back to show you that condition in just a moment. All right, so now very quickly, I deployed that third row of seating. We can see here from the rear, you still have a little bit of usable storage. The floor does drop away a bit because it was usually occupied by that third row. Uh, however, when you lift it up, you still have a bit of usable storage there. And making my way to the side, taking a look. I've dropped down these two seats, which can be done and undone very quickly. And each seat is independent, so I could easily reach over and deploy that middle seat if I wanted to and just had easy access. And I can also pull this tab, which allows this seat to stow forward, making for a nice easy entryway. And that other side seat does the exact same thing. But taking a look here, third row seats are in great condition. You can see there, again, all of the appointments there on the sides, that storage and of course your seat belts. It's all in great shape. The carpet underneath there is in great shape just the same. It all looks really nice and they are uh, able to be put away quite easily. It is kind of a two-handed job, so I'll have to do that off camera, but uh, they stow away nice and easy. And as I mentioned, it's very easy to operate these seats as well as it all just folds right back up. And as we can see here, fold up that lower tailgate, drop the top, and it all comes together nicely. Now we've had... All right, so just as I was wrapping that video up, I remembered that I mentioned the suspension height adjustment feature, and I wanted to show that to you. And so I currently have the vehicle set to what they call access height. It's the lowest ride height that is selectable on that controller. And as we can see, that gap between the tire and the fender has reduced dramatically. Uh, it's really sitting low. And actually, in my opinion, it looks pretty nice at this height. But as far as functionality goes, let's take a look at it changing from its access height to its full off-roading height. So you can see that controller there, it is currently in the lowest setting. I'm gonna tap this switch two times, and as you can see, we've selected the off-roading mode. And now when I close the door, you'll see that take effect. See, it's raising it to normal height now, and it's gonna do one more rise. So it can access that off-roading height. Now the front will match the rear. And just like that, the vehicle has become substantially taller. As we can see, that gap between the tire and the fender is seriously uh, expanded now, and it's gonna give you a lot more ground clearance. This can be really helpful uh, you know, for daily usability, though it may seem excessive for most situations, even if you have a bunch of snow piled up at the top of your driveway uh, when the winter's getting rough. Uh, even this would make a huge difference. You can see just how much higher up the front end sits off the ground now when it's in that off-roading mode and I'm going to drop it down one more time just to show you that same process in reverse so two taps on there to lower it down close that door and we'll back up and we can see it's going to lower down as that air suspension does its thing and we can see that the vehicles drop down now to its access height very quickly and we can see that wheel gap has returned to where it was just a moment ago so to close out you know i've been working here a while now and we've seen many lr4s our customers love them here at alpha cars and i must say i think this is probably the nicest one that i've personally seen thus far in the last three or four years i think a large part of that is because of that paint protection film all over the front and just clearly how well kept this vehicle has been throughout its lifetime but if you have any further questions about this particular LR4, please reference the listing at alphacars.com and there you're gonna find all of the relevant contact information. We thank you so much for your time 
Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you from Alpha Cars.